Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have got a big issue on FC25, and yes, it has to do with the new evolutions. For the second time this year, there seems to be a bug with evolutions, and it kind of explains why we haven't been getting that level of evolution content that we thought we were going to get. We have to talk about this today, guys, because there is some pretty clear evidence that there's a problem with this, and we need EA to say something about it. Also, an SBC that was released yesterday is making cards crash on the market but we're looking to invest in other players today for a market rise if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new let's look at that content yesterday first by looking at that player SBC that I just mentioned his name is the leaked right back SBC that we had for about four or five days and was finally released Giovanni D. Lorenzo. It is only three squads, which is a weird way for EA to break this out. It's actually only 65k. Three squads is pretty high number of squads to get to 65,000 coins, let's be honest. But the reason it's three squads is it's three 84 rated squads with one in form. 84s actually did go up a little bit, and I would imagine they would rise a little bit today. Not a whole lot, but they're right around 2,000 coins. But this price for the car that you get with Giovanni Di Lorenzo, especially as somebody who has just played 15, not quite 15, 12 games of Weekend League with him, it is a really, really good card. Guys, he feels insane in game. His defending is great, even without having the best defending playstyles. He does have intercept, which is very nice. He has jockey as well. No anticipate or block or anything like that. He does have whipped pass, first touch, rapid, and relentless. He just feels really, really good in game. I was not even using him as a wing back. I was just using him as a fullback. Uh role at the right back position and he was very very solid for 64,000 coins I was very glad that I did this SBC and of course a lot of people are doing it as well you can see 2,500 upvotes on the SBC itself and then 824 thumbs up there for 65,000 coins and an annoying number of 84s let's be completely honest you can get this SBC done for a cheap beast that's kind of what he is right if you use somebody like I don't know Cafu or Zanetti or like you got an icon pull or something crazy my con maybe in your team does he really go in over them not really, but if you need some Syria cheap links, of course, Syria is hot right now because of the Taram bros, the links, the Varan, right, and all that. So he's a very, very good card for that. Now, since he's so cheap and so hyped, right backs across the market are going down a ton. We haven't seen this a lot this year, but this is a prime example of an SBC that when one comes out, it's really good. Players sell cards from their teams and those prices drop on the market. Right backs are down a lot, especially right backs under 100k. Take a look at Kyle Walker, 46,000 coins down to 33k. Nate, will this card rise is what you might be asking. He probably will a little bit. He's Premier League and probably the best cheap Premier League right back. He's already up a couple thousand coins, but let's be honest, more and more people are going to be completing this Giovanni Di Lorenzo SBC. Do I expect Kyle Walker to go back above 40,000 coins? Not really. I wouldn't expect that unless he's going to have some other leak or like going out, out of packs for another promo card for himself. But right backs in total are down a lot. This is what makes it a little crazy though. And these are some of the right backs that you maybe be able to buy for a bit of a rebound later on in the week as the market goes up. I don't know who's selling my con for the 60,000 coin SBC Di Lorenzo, but people were selling my con who's got whipped pass plus and better stats and he's a freaking hero. And he's got a roll plus plus. But anyway, 650k down to 598 where he is now. Even like Zambrata was down yesterday because of the Di Lorenzo SBC. Now, the players that I would like the most for a potential investment, if you see their prices get low today as people are maybe still completing Di Lorenzo, a card like Frimpong, who was... 800,000 coins, 780 yesterday. Right now, even, you see that one there for 749. That's a bit down for him. He was 716 at one point. Dalo, Malo Gusto, and Trent would be other cards that if you saw them, Trent Alexander, Arnold, the... Um the total rush version right those cards did dip a little bit and they're actually trent 345 that's down just a little bit yesterday he was rising big time dipped a little bit of content and has kind of come down slightly since then but a lot of people hit play this card as a center defensive mid that's a card that i think could continue to rise after this, this little bit of a dip we had with the di lorenzo so if you're gonna buy a right back make sure it's somebody who's way better and way clear of di lorenzo or from a different league or potentially a live card but especially those cheaper tier right backs those are probably going to stay low and take a while to rebound. Also, yesterday we had a challenge SBC for a premium mixed players pack. Got to shout that out. Nothing super crazy, but we had that there. And guys, let's talk about evolutions really quick. We're going to talk a lot about Evos, but let's cover the Evo that was dropped yesterday. And it really was a surprise because 
It's the same Evo almost that dropped on Saturday. The new foundation, you might think, oh, you're seeing double, mate. Nope, there's actually two of them. It's the same thing. The only difference between these two Evos is the play styles that they give. The new one from yesterday gives out pinged pass and quick step, whereas the one from Saturday gives out press proven and relentless. But it's the exact same Evo. One of the coolest things you can do with this, though, is actually double evolve players, allegedly, as long as this works, right? A lot of problems with Evos, as we're going to talk about but this wad card you can actually take her to a pretty sizable boost here with 81 passing all the way to 86 and uh the dribbling it's plus one the defense gets a big boost i don't know if that's really worth it this card looks pretty crazy eduardo Quaresma in liga portugal 87 pace 85 defending and 84 physical that's a really crazy boost for his card so if there's a double evo situation here that you like uh for a foundations card absolutely go for it i still think i'm gonna go for uh the muller and then maybe the watt and two separate cards for a double evo for arsonist i think works good too and he looks pretty crazy there's a couple more options that you can double evo i believe um but that is there but again, that raises the question, what is up with Evos? Now, before we talk about that, we do have the mini release to discuss. And including with the mini release, we have a situation on the market where two cards, I believe, I'm checking right now, but two cards, I believe, are still extinct. Iago Aspas and uh, Martins, who both have pretty nice upgrades, guys. I'm going to be honest. This Iago Aspas card, I sometimes kind of rate this card in this game of FC 25 because I got him the first week of the game and used his 84 rated in squad battles and he actually cooked this boost on him is pretty insane he got a four star skill move boost plus fours and fives all the way around only a plus three overall he has good play styles finesse dead ball power shot of course chip shot plus little dead incisive he's also got Trivella this card's gonna be good do I think he's worth more than 140k I don't know about that. He can only play striker, and he does not have a roll plus plus, but it's a nice, fun card to maybe try out. His left stick dribbling uh, from when I used him was very good for the gold. So that's at least an interesting card. And Martins is really interesting, too, because she has five star skills. Also extinct at 140,000 coins. Pretty sizable upgrade. Plus 12 pace for her, and then five shooting, passing, and dribbling. You've got incisive tiki taka whipped pass. First touch flare, technical uh, play styles for her, and then no roll plus pluses, but you do at least have some roll pluses. Again, PSG links. Barcola is going to be coming out in the same position as her. Will she stand the test of 140,000 coins after her price range is upgraded? That I don't know, but these cards are also from a mini release, and there's a lot less packs open from Sunday onwards than there are from Friday onwards. A lot less weekend league rewards, store packs, and all that stuff. So uh, these cards, watch those for PR updates. Hopefully today. I hope they don't stay extinct very long. I'm surprised with how fast EA have been doing the updates this year that those are still extinct on the market. We also had another cheap Bundesliga midfielder in the name of Sabitzer. Decent boost here. Honestly, plus six pace is not bad, but he's just kind of a budget Bundesliga. Maybe if you need a Dortmund link, could be a decent card to use there. He does have technical ping, power shot, finesse, Trivella. So interesting card there, but not super expensive. And then Yeri Mina as well, Syria. 80 passing, 76 dribbling, 84 overall, maybe worth a stock in the club, just in case you have that potential Evo possibility down the line. He's got incisive, jockey, bruiser for that card there. So that was the mini release of cards that were added to this game yesterday. Now let's get to the main part of this video talking about evolutions because this is becoming a very massive talking point in the FC25 community, especially after yesterday now as you mentioned the last two days in this game we have had evos that feel like filler content on promo friday for total rush team 2 just a couple days ago we didn't even have an evolution we were expecting evos like the slow it down evo and the we play possession evo that we had last week during total rush number one because the evo and the rush mode kind of went together and that was the whole point ea said that was the content they were going to release we haven't had that and just evo content in general has been lacking heavy in the past couple of days, specifically the past weekend. Well, there's some news to talk about related to Evos. There sounds like there is a big bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it, problem. Evos are broken once again on this game. This is the tweet that really got people talking yesterday from Footspy, a credible member in the FC community. He's saying, if you are wondering where Evos are, you won't be seeing them anytime soon. The stat limit upgrades are completely broken internally, and there's no fix ETA currently. So 
again, you might be like looking at this and being like, Nate, this is just a guy on Twitter. What does he know? Well, there's some credible information to back this up. Take a look at EA Answers HQ, which this is like the forums for when you have problems with the game. You go and post your problems here. Look, this is under FC25 bug reports. Go down to this. Eligible players cannot be used for the canon evolution. 518 replies in this thread. None of the other threads in here have more than 50 from what I can see. Okay, this is a legit problem, all right? And again, it makes sense. We have not been getting the good, the best content that we really think we should be getting in Evolutions. It's really not good at all, and a lot of people are frustrated about it. This kind of cements the fact that there is a problem in this game with these cards. But this is now the second time that we've had a problem with Evolutions. Guys, if you remember, what was it, like two weeks ago, the beginning of October, EA released this server release notes patch that was to fix the Joe Gomez Evo, right? It was like Power Surge, and then you chained it into another evolution, and it was not giving you the full upgrade for what you should have gotten. Well, sounds like that fix was not a actual fix. It just sounds like that fixed that problem. Well, the same or a new problem has come around with the stat limit Evos once again and trying to chain them, right? Footspy also tweeted yesterday some kind of um, extra information about how this is messed up. He's saying right now, he said, you know that they said stat limits still allowed cards above the threshold to get upgraded. That's the problem right now. They can't. If a card is 86 pace and the stat limit is 85 pace, none of the other stats on the card are getting boosted as intended. His example down here is in an evolution, if the shooting is maximum 80 and it gives plus two shooting and plus two dribbling and you put a card in with 81 shooting, which could be possible if the player fits the requirements, right? We've known that that's the whole new point of stat limits this year. An 81 shooting player goes into this Evo, right? they wouldn't even get the plus two dribbling, let alone they wouldn't get, of course, plus two shooting because they're already above one. So they would get plus one shooting, but they're not even getting the plus two dribbling. That's the point. It's not giving the full upgrades for the stat limits on cards that are above a stat limit that still fit the evolution as they should. So basically EA's new system of upgrading evolutions this year, which we were all super excited about, and it really worked good, great at the beginning of the game. The ultimate edition evolution, the club member reward. Evos at the start of this year's game were popping. There were so many good ones. The combinations were solid, great cards, and now it's really just gone downhill because the system seems to be broken and it seems to not be working. I keep asking myself this question, did EA test this stuff ahead of time? I mean, sure they did, right? But they must have not tested it enough or something has happened with the system that it's just not working as intended because this is a big problem. We are one month into the game and sure there's been a lot of evolutions released and a lot of trial and error here and it's a new system so there's going to be some hiccups, right? We understand that but this is the second big problem now and people's evos are not being upgraded and it's actually hurting us as the consumers of the game and EA because they're not releasing the content that they probably want to release. They're having to hold it back because the game is broken in a sense. So that's the frustration with evolutions at the moment and really the last thing about this is can we get some communication? I, I wouldn't even mind it if EA tweeted out and said, hey guys, there's a problem with evolutions. We're working on a fix. Hang with us in the meantime, blah, blah, blah. This is what you can expect until then, whatever. Like just acknowledgement of the issue, I think, even though they're gonna get a bunch of hate and a bunch of negative comments below that, it would be nice to have some answers as to why the evolution content seems off from a content perspective as a lot of us who play the game pretty heavily it would be nice if they at least acknowledge the issue. Maybe they don't want to for whatever reason, but that would just help us know and kind of be like, okay, yep, mm -hmm, we see it. We're not just talking out of our heads here. There's actually a problem and we've kind of sniffed that out ourselves. If they wanted to confirm that, that would be nice. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to expect with that. I don't think they're going to actually say something until they have a fix, kind of like they did the first time. But until then, we're just kind of out of luck with evolutions and just waiting to see when they fix it, what they say about it, and how it's going to do things. Would I hold off on doing evolutions? I don't know. It's tough to say that because these evos are on timers, and I wanted to do the canon evolution. I wanted to do Brennan Johnson. Now, I'm not going to do a... Um, like a chain evolution with the cannon, so maybe it would be fine. I wouldn't have any issues because this one itself doesn't even have any stat limits in it. It's one of those non-stat limit evos, just the requirements. 
but very frustrating at the moment with evolutions. But I don't want to hang on that for forever. I just wanted to cover that because a lot of people are talking about, oh, Evos are broken. And they'll, they actually are after a little bit of research and seeing some of that news. If EA would confirm it, then we'd be able to say with 100% certainty. But we're pretty sure that they're busted in some way or another. Now, let's talk market because you might see my coin total be like, Nate, where in the world are your freaking coins, man? What did you spend them on? Well, I bought some cards for today's market rise, and let's talk about that. First of all, we talked about fodder at length in yesterday's video. I'm still holding the line. If you guys want to get on bids, probably still a decent time to do so. Again, I like the higher rated fodder the most. You sit back, you relax, you wait for it to go up. That's the investment. The lower tier fodder is more of an investment for this week. I mentioned 84s are already up in price. He's like 1.8, 1.9K. You can see that kind of rose yesterday. Not a lot. They're probably going to keep rising into the week this week if we get a new icon upgrade pack or a hero, most likely a hero upgrade pack on Wednesday. Those could go up a little bit further depending on the requirements. So if you want to go for a quick flip on fodder, hoping it goes up this week, I'd go for 85s to 87s. Still can get them on bid today with the final foot champs rewards being paid out at the end of the competition because some people don't claim their rewards right away or don't play all their games, um, which seems weird, but people do it. You look at the market, there's a little bit of a dip every single Monday morning early when champs rewards are paid out. So watch for that and just hold on to those cards because it's a more longer term investment waiting for those SBCs to come out. We're selling fodder when it goes up. That's the answer to that question. Now, let's take a look at Total Rush team number two because yesterday's market was really not that good of a day. Prices dipped. Prices went up a little bit. Uh, I made some trades that were decent. The Park Sung and the Dudak, we were talking about it on stream. There were some decent flips in there. Frimpong was good. Lewandowski, I ended up losing some coins on. I bought this for $7.99. He went up to $8.60, went down to $7.30, rebounded to $8.20. I was like, yep, I'm out of there. So Bonmati was a good flip. There were still some other good flips to be had yesterday. But for, mostly, for most of the market, it actually went down, especially the Total Rush team. Now... I am expecting some prices to rise today on Monday because if we look back to last week, the market dropped on Saturday and Sunday of last weekend. As you can tell here, we're starting to bottom out on the market index. There still will be prices low enough this morning to invest, but once we start to get into the mid to later day hours, like let's say whatever content time is for you, like five hours before content, you're probably going to see the market start to rise up a decent amount after rewards. Um, if you can get in before then, that would be the best time to do so. Basically, around the time that weekly rewards are paid out, I think is when you're going to see things start to trickle up. Here's the market movement that we're looking for. Last week on Sunday, Militao started on Sunday at 111k, dropped Sunday night into early Monday morning, 103,000 coins. You see early Monday morning UK time starts to go back up and then gets to a high point on Monday, Tuesday at 111k. That's not a huge increase, but that's a solid increase in the market. And we're looking for a similar movement this week on a lot of cards, mid-tier to high-tier golds I would focus on the most. A lot of people are going to use their foot champs rewards, there's coins, and they're going to go and upgrade their teams. What did Saliba? Last Sunday, Saliba was, look at this, dropping from 230 all the way down to 218 and rose back to 230. Even, yeah, stayed there at 230 on like into Tuesday as well. I think that the high-tier golds is good. And there could be some profits to be had there. But if you also want to keep it even safer, you can go out of packs cards as always. Out of packs are always safer because there's less supply, but people are still getting coins to go and upgrade their teams. Or you can go for icons and heroes. Some road to the knockout cards. I think RTTKs, the ones that haven't risen that much, Malagusto, 456. That's pretty low. He's still a live right back, even though we got the new card for Di Lorenzo. That's pretty crazy that he's down like that. But these sorts of cards, you could absolutely watch for some rises today. Other out-of-pack specials like Informs. I picked up a Martinelli at 51K because I thought, thought that was pretty cheap. Again, heroes, icons. And if you want to get risky with it, you can trade with a Total Rush team too, which is what I'm attempting to do. I bought a Tamori yesterday for 515,000 coins to play some games with. Um, and I kept him because he was pretty good. I think he was going to go up. And then I just bought another one for under 500,000 coins on a snipe at, or on a bid at 498. These cards fluctuate and a lot of them, they were down a ton yesterday. And I can, I can believe that people are going to want to wake up today and try out these cards. So I picked up Tomori, Guerrero, and Zaire Emery. I got Zaire Emery at 375. The reason why I bought him was because he even rose yesterday. He went down to 370 after squad battles, went back up to 400, 409 even, went down to 380, back up to 407, and we've got the Barcola Player of the Month incoming, and that card, if you compare it to De Young, is like almost the same card, just without a playstyle plus, and he's like a third of the price, and he's French. So, 
I think that card's pretty cheap, and his tots last year, I remember, was super super cracked, and a lot of people used it, so he's got hype, he's decently rare, and then I was, you know what, I had to gamble on a little bit of Guerrero action here, he's already rising up a little bit, I bought him like 30 minutes ago, but like, this dude was 130,000 coins starting the day yesterday, and on Saturday he was 140, and now he's 98k with Tiki Taka Plus, and arguably one of the most hyped cards in this promo team, just because he's cheap and his link ability, I was like, you know what, let me send a few of these, if he... If I wake up today and he's 88k, it is what it is. Hopefully, he's like 110 to 115 now. You never know. So, I'm going for some quick flips. Now, I will say, guys, I'm not expecting a lot of content today. So, if you find a low price on a card that you like for your team, um, then you don't have to sell it today. You can absolutely hold on to it. The only thing that's going to make prices drop today or tomorrow would probably be a leak. And as of right now, like what kind of leak are we going to get? Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty quiet days. Let's talk about what we could get today, though, because there is something... It's a little interesting about today's Monday content. Monday's always upgrade pack SBC, right? And well, last week, what did we have? The 78 double. We've had the combo upgrade. Could we get the first player picks of the year? I think it was middle October last year where we had the first player pick. I don't know if it was a 77 plus or it was a 75 plus, but if we get player picks, people are going to be excited for that, especially because it's just a different thing. Player picks are always more hyped than um, the packs themselves. Even if you have like a 78 double versus a one of three 75 plus player pick, people will always take the player pick because like the three options makes it feel like you have more options to pack. I don't know. I'd rather a 78 times double to get two cards. But if we get player picks today, I would watch gold commons. Those will probably go up a little bit um, because people love player picks. That's just something to uh, remember there. So watch out for that. Hopefully we get something there. Upgrade pack wise, we expect something. I don't know how crazy it will be. But guaranteed content we know we are getting today is the brand new rush mode, pure strength, because this one comes out today to replace Goal Frenzy. I have not played a single game of Goal Frenzy. Instead, I played Put Champs Rewards. If you want to see those rewards, those are on the second channel. We got cooked, but it was interesting. Um, check out that video there. Anyways, uh, I got to finish this one off. Hopefully, what do I have to do? Play 10 matches. Frick. This should be pretty easy, but I kind of wanted to get this mode completed and worked on because the rush points that you get from it are crazy, as we mentioned. I just didn't play it at all during the weekend, but there will be a new... Oh, I have to play it. Yo, I kind of have to play it at least to get the Millic done and to get all these rewards. Anyway, there will be a new rush mode today called Pure Strength. Can't say I hope we get an Evo with it because Evo still are broken at the moment, we assume. So maybe not an Evo to go with that, but a new rush mode today. We'll see what Pure Strength is about. Maybe it's players with high strength, you know, just taking a guess would make sense. And then we still have leaked player SPCs out there. We have the Crystal Dunn. We have the Barcola Player of the Month that we're still just waiting on and, and as of right now like hmm, ea when are you going to release those SBCs? so mondays are pretty quiet usually uh with a new rush mode coming out today and upgrade packs that might be all we get which would be really good for the market could make a really good trading day today too so if you've made some investments should be a good day to watch those rise if you want to buy a team as well again Talking about some of these gold cards, I think it could be a good opportunity to slide some of these players in your team if you want to just buy them and then use them for the next couple of days as you play rivals and then not have to worry about um, where their prices could move for like a day or two. I mean, that's so nice when you're like buying a team and then you're just like sitting back and not having to worry about it. This would be the time to go ahead and do that. Quick shout out for this card, Mohamed Salah. He's out of packs. His card has actually dropped a bit from the weekend. He's out of packs. His promo card's 1.6 million. People are going to be trying to get coins to get Salah. He's got Finesse Plus. This might be the time, either today or Thursday. I want to buy this card at some point because he's going to move. Maybe Puteas as well, out of packs for her too. And she's now under 500k, which is crazy. So watch out for that card. Watch out for Salah. And then, of course, if you want to get risky with it like I am, going for a few of the total rush cards. I will probably flip these today just so hopefully we get a nice little bit of profit that I can sell and I can go into some other trades and flips just to be super active on the market. But it's going to be harder to find deals today. So the rise into today will probably be the best time um, to pick up some cards before then. And then the rise will probably continue into late Monday in a Tuesday as well. So that's the current market situation. Of course, like I mentioned, we're holding fodder. And I guess we're going to roll into content today and see what EA surprises us with. And I'm going to get 275 more XP so that your boy can open that level 40 87 times 3 and have a chance at packing Messi and Salah because I have dupe theory for both of those. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope to get insanely lucky. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. Have a great start to your week on a Monday. If you enjoyed this one, drop those up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow and a stream today. Live links in the description as well. It's been Nathan with Account. See you there. Peace.